Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to install a report builder. So what is a report builder? Report builder is a report authoring tool that can be used by the power users or business users. The people who have some knowledge of creating reports. So they would not be really SQL developers, but they will have some knowledge to create those reports. As a SQL developer, we have created a lot of reports by using SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. But in this case, those users will be using this light tool, our lightweight tool or whatever you call. This is compact tool and this does not have all the template such as SSIS, SSAS that SSDT has. So it will be just for report authoring. So first of all, we can download this tool or software from the Microsoft website and install. So let me go to the Google here and say download report builder for SQL Server 2014. As the version of a SQL Server I have installed on this machine is 2014. So I'm going to download that one. It will take a maybe 10 or 20 seconds. Uh, the size of the file is uh, 20.9 MB. So I'm going to download this one. Uh, it's uh, under process so it will be downloaded in the next uh, 10 seconds. Uh, I have plan uh, to make at least uh, t uh, 15 to 20 videos on a report builder. It's very interesting tool uh, and uh, we have done a lot of reports already, chart reports, uh, parameters reports and all that but we would like to do the same reports with with the report builder so let's go to the folder now and we have a report builder right here so let's double click and install it so it is saying okay you you want to install a sql server report builder 3 for sql server 2014 yes and then we do accept the license next and then it is a the report uh, builder version 3.0 for Microsoft SQL Server 2014 uh, reporting services. So that's uh, what we have, report builder 3.0. Next. And uh, right now you can provide uh, the report server URL. If you know that, okay, you are going to work with this uh, report server always, you can provide that. Or otherwise we can change any time or provide any time once uh, we are done with the installation and start using a report builder. So hit next for now and then install yes so it is uh, under process right now and finish now next step is uh, how to start the report builder so you will be going to the search uh, and in the search we will be typing a uh, report uh, sorry report builder and you would see report builder 3.0 right uh, here so click uh, and it will open reports Microsoft SQL Server 2014 uh, report builder and then uh, we have a getting start window right here so we can close for now but we can create a table matrix report chart report map reports and we can start from the blank report itself uh, and here we can create the shared data sets uh, and everything so I will walk you through all these windows uh, and uh, we do a lot of demos on this uh, uh, report builder but let's close for now and one thing if you want to connect to the server you can have a connect uh, uh, tab here so once you click here and uh, you can go ahead and provide the report server um, that you want to use uh, from this report builder and create the reports and deploy the reports to that uh, report server to deploy the reports uh, the user needs some permissions uh, and if the user does not have a permission uh, he can save the files to the local directory from the report builder and then provide to the DBA and DBA can deploy that or those reports to the uh, any server that has to be done. So most of the time the, the users, the power user, they have permission in the lower environments but if it has to go to production and all that then they will give the RDLs to the DBA and DBA will take care from there. So let's close this one for now. Other way around that we can use uh, to start a report builder is uh, going to the report manager URL and once uh, we have it uh, here you will go to the report builder tab uh, here so click on the report builder very first time when you click this one 
it will ask you to download and you will say yes and it will download that report builder program and after that is the same report builder what we have started from the windows and go went to search and search for the report builder 3.0 so this is the same we we can initiate or start from the report manager url or we can start from the window go to search and start it so here you can create the same report is the same close this one and that's all we we are carrying as of now if you will start from the report manager one thing you have to notice uh, right here it is already connected uh, to that uh, server so if you uh, start from the windows uh, you have to provide uh, the server name where you want to connect to uh, where your data sources will be or uh, they are and data sets and everything but uh, if you will be starting from here as you are already connected uh, to the report server by using the report manager UI it will be connecting uh, the same way so you can see here my uh, report builder is connected to my report server that's called the report server underscore SQL 2014 I can disconnect and if I would like to disconnect to the same server I can connect with that one or I can provide different uh, report server URL and connect uh, with the, the other one so you can connect with different uh, report servers and work with them and save your reports uh, to different uh, report servers uh, by using the report builder this is a very interesting tool there are a lot to learn and uh, i will suggest you know stick around and watch these videos uh, we have small small things that, that we need to discuss uh, with the uh, next video i'm going to make uh, uh, the, how to getting familiar with the getting start window and what we can do from that window and after that we will be doing a uh, menus like a uh, home insert view and uh, i will install sql server 2016 by the time we'll get to these uh, different tabs and i will show you both uh, um, report builders in 2016 and 2014 if there is any difference so we'll make some comparisons as well thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video